Viola Davis is not, okay? She's a good citizen, a terrific actress. And I just love what she's done here because it kind of has created this domino effect. Viola Davis refusing to film a movie, even with the union's blessing. She got a waiver and she said, no, stand in solidarity. Viola Davis says she is opposed to filming. She's not gonna do it, her next movie, amid the simmering actors and writers labor strikes. Even though she has SAG actors blessing to do so. Oscar award winning actors movie comes amid scrutiny over SAG actors decision to exempt some productions from the strike that are not affiliated with any major studios or streaming platforms. The dispensations have sparked questions in recent days. Davis released a statement this weekend after her upcoming action thriller G20 was among dozens of independent projects granted waivers by the guild to move forward during the strike. I love this movie, but I do not feel that it would be appropriate for its production to move forward during the strike, Davis said in a statement provided Sunday to the LA Times. I appreciate that the producers on the project agree with this decision. Juvie Productions and I stand in solidarity with actors SAG-AFTRA and the WGA, Los Angeles Times with the reporting. Though much of Hollywood has come to a standstill amid the writers and actors strikes, more than 40 productions have been granted waivers to continue shooting during the mass work stoppage. But whether actors are crossing a picket line by participating in those productions, that's become a point of contention spreading throughout the industry. In a message to members posted online Sunday, the union defended the agreements and called them a vital part of its strategic approach to negotiations. Union leaders noted that these agreements include reasonable and appropriate contract terms and mainly involve projects that are not affiliated with the companies that belong to the AMPTP. And further, they said these projects won't be distributed on AMPTP platforms until an industry wide agreement is reached. Meantime, actor and comedian Sarah Silverman said she was quote, pissed off at the idea of movie stars continuing to work on independent projects when they know the goal is to sell them to streaming giants. And she accused her peers of scabbing by working on those titles, SAG after waivers be damned. She's a big mouth, she had something to say and a lot of people agree with her. Silverman said on Instagram, I got offered an indie movie, I F said no. And so did a bunch of my friends. And now some of my friends are saying yes, and I'm really pissed. Please explain to me why I should be angry, shouldn't be rather. Because people are sacrificing their livelihood for this cause. It's called Union Strong. We should see every movie star out there striking along. After hearing the SAG after leaders out, Silverman doubled down on her stance. This cause is a work stoppage, Silverman said. That's our power. Silverman also questioned whether all of the exempt projects are truly independent, saying some productions carry a real stink of loopholeness. Times has reached out to SAG after for comment. Um, like I said, she's a big mouth. And I don't mind it a bit, David Schuster. I love Viola Davis leading by example. And I saw where Amy Schumer retweeted her statement. And Brad Pitt kind of was doing an indie and then kind of stepped back. Okay, suddenly production is shut down. Is the union misguided in these waivers? Is there hoodwinking going on? How do we dissect this one? It's a good question. I, I think that the union is, is very fearful of the industry being completely eradicated if this strike continues to go. Mm. So I think what they're trying to do is provide at least perhaps a little bit of work for some people uh, so that not everybody's struggling. But I, I think that the union should just encourage a blanket ban on all production. I think that's the way it would be most effective. And I certainly think stars, congratulations to Viola Davis. I mean, she's a hero for what she's doing and same with Sarah Silverman. I think the stars themselves have to lead by example and say, we're not gonna have any sort of production. No matter you know whether an A-list star or a D-list star, you're not gonna participate in a production as long as the strike is going on. Because as long as there's some production companies that feel they can sort of skirt the line, I don't think the strike is gonna be that terribly effective. We need the strike to be over, but we need it to be over on the terms that are beneficial to the people who are striking, and that is the people who make these movies, they deserve more. And I'm not talking about the stars, I'm talking about the grips, the writers, the lighting people, the people who have not seen their wages raised, who are not getting residuals, that is outrageous. And these 
productions make billions for these entertainment companies. That needs to change. It certainly does need to change. And I don't know if you could hear, I have movie music going. It's the background, it's a theme. Um, and I wanted to add a little something to the segment. But this is treacherous, David, and I don't know. I don't know how this one's going to end or how long it's going to take and who's going to prevail. Because there's these studio heads on their yachts and they're prepared to just sail around until people have to work two and three jobs to realize their dreams in Hollywood to have rent.